Hi everyone. In my previous video on FDI, I mentioned at the bottom the conclusion that whether FDI is deemed successful depends on the type of investment and whether it's sustainable or not. In the limitations of FDI, I touched upon some key environmental points that could question the sustainability of foreign direct investment in promoting growth and development in developing countries. To develop this idea further of growth and sustainable development, let's kind of consider what sustainability is and whether growth can actually lead to that always or not. And what you realise is there are some very good evaluation points here when it comes to uh, looking at growth and sustainability specifically for you to fit into your essay. And you can bring this point into lots of different essays and on different topics. So don't think this is just an FDI related point. This could be, um, this could be useful for lots of different topics in development. So first of all, let's just consider what is sustainability. This is the definition of sustainability. I think it's a very good definition and it makes it very clear as to what we mean in economics by sustainability, which often causes a bit of confusion. So sustainability is meeting the needs of the present generations without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. So basically, whatever we're doing now can also be sustained in exactly the same way for future generations to benefit in the same way. If what we're doing now is pursuing growth that we're benefiting from, that will not exist in the future, that's not sustainable. Right? Or if what we're doing now is actually going to uh, provoke more cost on future generations, well that's not sustainable either, because future generations are not going to benefit in the same way that we are. So, altogether, hopefully you've gone through my entire playlist by now, and you would have realised that growth is a very important condition for development to take place. And growth can also lead to sustainable development. Gro growth can be sustainable and can promote sustainable outcomes, development outcomes. Uh, how? Well, let's say uh, growth promotes higher profits. I explained that back in video number two. Those higher profits can be reinvested and can be used to develop more capital, higher quantities of capital, higher quality of capital, more innovation, more research and development, better technology. These are all sustainable outcomes. Um, that is going to lead to an increase in the capital stock. That is sustainable. That's actually going to benefit future generations. At the same time, we know growth produces a fiscal dividend. That fiscal dividend can be spent on infrastructure in the economy, on education, on healthcare, on roads, on bridges, on telecommunications, on the expansion of the internet, etc. This is all sustainable. This again will lead to an increase in the productive capacity of the economy, which therefore can see growth and development occur in the long term. Very sustainable. In the same time, growth can promote higher incomes, and if those incomes are spent on life-sustaining goods and services or material goods and services, then that again can promote benefits not just for the individual in the short term, but also for a family in the long term. So, um, the growth can lead to sustainable development, but where the bridge between growth and development, specifically sustainable development, can break down is in three in is in these three main areas. So let's say that pursuing growth can actually lead to resource depletion and resource degradation. Well, then that's not sustainable. So if by trying to grow, we're extracting loads and loads and loads of minerals and resources from the earth, that's not sustainable. In the short term, that may well lead to growth. But in the long term, uh -uh, these resources disappear, growth avenues disappear, future generations cannot benefit in the same way that we are benefiting at the moment. So resource depletion is a major risk to sustainable growth and development. Resource degradation too, if by producing lots and lots of goods and services, uh, we are degrading resources like rivers, like ponds, uh, like the air, you could argue, in the process, then that again is not good. That's imposing a cost on future generations. Um, that is going, to make, is going to mean that they suffer in the long term, which is not sustainable. So these are some big arguments against um, growth, especially if it promotes unsustainable forms of development. And these things harm welfare. They actually reduce uh, happiness in the economy. They promote misery, to be honest with you. So therefore, we are not promoting beneficial development outcomes if these things are happening. At the same time, deforestation. Other ways in which production in an economy can be unsustainable. And there are major negative externalities associated with deforestation. So firms that are logging firms, for example, um, firms that are involved in paper production, firms that uh, cut down forests to open up land for farming. Deforestation essentially creates major negative externalities like soil erosion, 
like loss of biodiversity, um, like greater risks of flooding. All of these problems are negative externalities that are suffered by third parties. It's unsustainable if deforestation keeps taking place. If that's over pursuing growth and development, that is unsustainable in the long term. And finally, another way in which growth can be unsustainable is in the overuse and the burning of fossil fuels. If that's taking place, then there's going to be pollution in the atmosphere, there's going to be carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, as well in the atmosphere, which has to be inhaled by third parties, which can cause negative health effects for current generations and future generations, um, and as well can lead to a lack of productivity in the economy, uh, and a lack of welfare, loss of welfare in society too. So we can argue that these three things are all negative externalities in production. So if you're making these points, if any time you're saying that growth, if it's because of FDI, if it's because of um, government policy, um, if it's because of a, a lack of efficient governance, or whatever it might be, if it's a, if it's a result of um, self-interest by domestic firms, you can say, look, these negative externalities, if they do exist, can actually cause a loss of welfare. The way you would show that is very simply drawing a negative externality in production diagram. So you have price, costs and benefits on the y-axis. You have quantity on the x-axis. And then what we're trying to show is that there is a divergence between um, MSC and MPC. What we're trying to say is that MSC is actually to the left of MPC. So the market equilibrium only accounts for the private cost and private benefits, whereas the social optimum takes into account the social cost and social benefits. So what we see here is a welfare loss equivalent to that triangle, and we see there's an overproduction of goods and services that generate these negative externalities. So the point to make here is that look, growth can be unsustainable if negative externalities are generated, like the three I mentioned before. Uh, so therefore something needs to be done if that's the kind of growth that's happening. And well, the argument against that is by saying, well, if there is short-term growth, then the revenues and the profits generated from that can be used to invest in green technology. That can be used to then move away from unsustainable forms of growth. So, in the short term, maybe unsustainable forms of growth are unnecessary to generate incomes to then fund more sustainable approaches to development. Uh, but anyway, so there you go. This video shows how growth can be sustainable, but also how growth can be unsustainable and lead to unsustainable development outcomes. So when it comes to an essay, great points to put into your essay to evaluate and uh, to say even though development outcomes may be beneficial, if it's not sustainable, there may be major issues in the long term, there may be a loss of welfare for society in the long term, scuppering development. Fantastic way to go. So I uh, hope this video helped. See you next time. Thank you very much.